I'm here with the beautiful Dana Paola. How is my pronunciation? Yeah, good, very good. How do you say it? Dana Paola, like it that. It sounds so much better when you say it. With your <laughs> a accent. little bit, but it, it's, it's, it's good. This is the first time at Young Hollywood. This yeah, is really it's exciting. Yeah, I'm so, I'm so excited. Well, we're excited you know? to have you here. Yes, we want you. American audiences to know about you. I know you've been acting and singing since you were yes, how old? Yes, since I have four years old. Okay, how years did you old. know you wanted to be a singer and actress when you were four? How I, did that happen? I don't know. I, I have not much memory. <laughs> but, really? Yeah, but I, I was uh, in my house with my mom and I said to her that I want to sing in acting. My dad was a singer in a group, so like a boy band in the 80s. Your dad was a boy bander? Yes. So you got that from him? Yes, the, the sing part and the acting part. My mom uh, has uh, movie stars in Mexico yeah. and they, they have um, many person in the family who was doing movies in Mexico. Or in the business. Yes. Do they give you advice? Like yeah. when you were growing up, did they give advice you advice? Advice from acting and singing from, from my both dad. Sides. And, yes. And you also have a single on YouTube, 20 million views now? Yes. <laughs> It was a really good opportunity for me sing, uh, recording that song. We recorded in San Diego, so it was amazing. I love that song. You recorded it in America. Yes, um, and it was so nice meeting him. He's a really such a good guy. Now that you're sort of breaking out into America and you're like a fresh artist here, what do you think like the biggest difference is between like like when you grew up, like your musical inspirations versus here. Is there a big difference in, in like the style of music from here and there? Like will your, will your music now change and evolve as you move sort of more into the States, do you think? Yes, I, I like to sing R&B. I love so much that uh, since I have memory. I, I, I was looking for my style, for the things that I want to sing, and we could help me a lot for, for, for looking and for searching what I want to sing. Now I can sing Defying Gravity so easy and I can do raves and I can do something, anything what I want. Here in America a lot of actors do Broadway and there's a lot of crossover. Yes. They actually gave you a really hard time because you're this pop star and they sort of, you sort of defied, not gravity, but you defied the odds and I people know. sort of said, I don't know if she can do it. Yes. Right, right. And then you went out there and then what happened? You broke records or? Yes, we have 100,000 tickets um, in, 12, in 12 weeks. Sold in 12 weeks. Yes. Which is a record. It's a record. We are so happy and so grateful with the people in Mexico and from the other countries come to see we get in Spanish. And that's just based on your voice and your performance Thank and you. what you did on your own. Yes. So can we get a little taste? I'm putting you oh, on the spot yes, now. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of Defying Gravity. Is that your favorite? Yeah, it's okay, really awesome. Great. Okay. Hoy ya no soy la misma Hoy algo no es igual Ya basta de que digan lo que Go bien o mal, lo hecho es pasado y no vuelvo a comenzar. Hoy sigo mis instintos, tengo que volar. Iré en contra de la gravedad, lo haré en contra de la gravedad y no me bajas ya. Something like that. Chills! Oh my gosh! Yes. Okay, and let's talk about food differences. Food. Okay, well, obviously we know a Mexican food. Like, oh yes. Different from American food. But is there Best anything like... Best gastronomy ever. But I is think that. <laughs> is there anything like similar to America, like something you can get there that you can get here? That well, can... it's so different. We, you have uh, tacos here and it's not nothing like the tacos in Mexico. Really? It, yeah, it's nothing like that. Like We think we're eating Mexican food, but yeah, we're really but not. Yeah, but you're not. You're not. What about when you go to like Subway? Because they have it here and they have it yes, there. Yes, I love Subway. Oh, you do? Oh, yes. So what do you get on it? Is it like a different sandwich there or is it the same? What do you like well, on Well, it's the same. Uh, I, I like to put some uh, guacamole. Uh, you put guac, guacamole. Guacamole, <laughs> yes. It's so, it's so delicious. Yeah. And they have a little uh, serranos and chiles like 
um, I don't know, it's it's called like jalapeños, mm -hmm. and yeah, they I have think, yeah. uh, it just sounds better when you yeah, say in chips with a lot of chili. I know, I, it's so chili. <laughs> so you get Mexico. a little spicier there. You yes, get a little spicier. I like more like vegetarian Subway, yeah. but with a little bit of that toque mexicano. Like Mexican touch. Are you into makeup? Because your makeup looks great now. Are you into? Yes. You're obviously into the fashion makeup. Thank thing. you. Well, someone helped me uh, in the morning. Right. Yeah. Now, but that's always good, right? But I always uh, try to do my makeup. What, what would be? Because you have so many young girls that look up to you. A great like makeup tip. A makeup tip. I think it's not much makeup. I think uh, the most natural thing is the best because it uh, shows your your beauty and. I think it's is, is the best tip I can to say. <laughs> I love it. Okay, and what about fashion? What would you say, like, one fashion trend there that you want to bring here? Uh, we have really terrible fashion right now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it's I'm just kidding. Like, you know, more... Mexico has a really, really good uh, fashion. I, I, I met a lot of designers that they have an amazing talent. I, I really, I, I can feel um, how you can say um, proud? Uh, There's of, a lot of pride yes, in the country. Yeah, and it's it's so nice because they have maybe uh, many people have that that illusion of Mexican people are like charros with sombreros and espantasuegras <laughs> and, and all that stuff with bigote. So. And you just saw on the cover of Cosmo? Yes. In Mexico. In is it weird to see your I mean, obviously you're a big star there and you've been a star since you were a little girl. Thank you. But is it, is it strange when you actually see yourself on the cover? It of was an magazine? amazing cover. I think uh, when I did the photo shoot in November, they told me that, that I look older in, in the pictures without the hair and the makeup. and. You're so sexy and so natural, and, and it's it's great. It is a sexy magazine. Yes, and yeah. I was uh, a little afraid of that because I'm so shy, and um, it was great. I think that the result uh, is amazing. I love the cover. So what would be like a fun night for you with your a friends? A fun night at my house, um, and maybe uh, movies and pizza, and that's my night. I think it's so silly, but. But I love it. Mexican it's style pizza. Mexican style pizza. <laughs> <laughs> some nachos with chili. In it. I want to come to your house. Oh yes, like you can. You can. All right, we're all young Hollywood's going to Mexico City. Yeah, you Announcement. can. Announcement. my home. This has been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We can't wait you. to see more of you here. Thank you. Thank come you. back anytime. It was a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you so much. And gracias. Los amo. Y los veo pronto. <laughs>